Oh my god, I got one. Oh my god, I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. I got a heavy core. Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of my hardcore world. So, as you've seen in the intro there, I did go ahead and between episodes, uh, do some more of the trial chambers. And we did, in fact, get one of the core pieces that we need to make the new hammer, mace, whatever that thing's called. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is this is the original Explorer map that we got last episode. And in order to get a new one, like a different uh, map, I had to get a different cartographer villager. No matter how many of these maps that I bought from the other one, it just kept giving me this same pattern. I tried going, you know, a few thousand blocks away. I went through the nether, built a, um, built a nether portal, went back into the overworld, tried doing it, and it, it still didn't work. So, yeah, I had to get a new villager, and this guy took us um, actually this direction, and the old one took us that direction. So that's just something I wanted to mention. Um, maybe I was doing something wrong. I'm not too sure. So I'm down here at our original um, enchantment area. Because this is... Or skeleton grinder. Because this is where I have my only enchantment area. And this is the box of stuff that we got from the trial chamber. So we ended up with... Um, Two more of the ominous bottles, and I got three more of the ominous trial keys left, plus a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this is just kind of all the stuff that I kept. A um, ton of these breeze rods. But I'm pretty sure it takes one breeze rod and one of these heavy cores to make a mace. That's what it's called, a mace. And I think, there. That's, kind of, that's cool. I like the way that looks. That looks really good. Ooh, it looks really good in third person. And I think this is just like a sword variant. I don't think... Yeah, you can't break blocks with it, it doesn't look like. Okay. Um, so, one thing I did go ahead and make while... Um, before I started recording here was... I'm not sure what enchantments we can put on this. So, I did go ahead and buy an Unbreaking, Amending, and a Sharpness book. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and enchant this. Okay, we're going to get them breaking. I think you can get better enchants than that. Let's try doing a book here. Okay, it's still unbreaking. I was thinking there was like a breeze or something. Density. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Let's take that. Okay, so we got a density 4. I don't know... I don't know if that's good, but I don't think it is. Okay, so you can disenchant it. That was something else I was curious about. Um, let's see, what do we get this time? Density 4 again. Okay, that time we got unbreaking. Let's try it one more time. Ooh, density 5. I'll take density 5. Okay, and we did get unbreaking 3. So now I'm curious, can I put sharpness? I can't put sharpness on this. Okay. Can I put mending? I can put mending. Okay. That's kind of cool. So how much damage does this do? Um, hang on. Let's kill all of these. And then let's get, see if we can get one. Yeah, you come here. So how much damage does this do to you? Okay, not a lot. That That's not a lot of damage at all. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it has mending on it, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know... I don't know if that's good. I think there's, like, a... Isn't there a way to, like, do, like, a jump attack? No. Right click doesn't do anything. Right clicking doesn't... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's go up here and let's see if we can find some mobs. Because there's supposed to be something where you like you, if you take fall damage or how high you fall, it's supposed to do more damage. But I don't know if that's what this is or not. Okay. Let's go up here. 
Whoa! Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it is this this ability. It's how far you fall. Ooh, okay, so now I'm curious on something. Let's get my shovel here. Let's get... Um, let's grab some blocks. And now if I build up... Wait, did I take... Did I take fall damage from that? Because I hit the mob? Oh god, I missed. Oh god, oh god. Give me all my dirt. Okay, so... Oh my god, you don't take fall damage. Okay, so as long as you hit the mob, you don't take fall damage. Now I'm curious, can I do this like really, really high up? This seems like how you lose a hardcore world. This is... I don't think I'll die from this height, because I have Feather Falling 4 anyway. Let's just go on up. Now, let's see. I want it to be here. <laughs> okay! That is cool. I like that a lot. That is really cool. And I got some kind of achievement for it, too. Let's, um... Let's go over here and let's sleep really quick, just so they those things die. Okay, that was cool. Uh, what achievement did we get? 50 hearts of... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, I set myself on fire. That's not ideal. Wait, so that's... Hang on. How, how high up did we go? We went... Let's see. Um, we went 1, 2, 3... All right, let's mine all of these blocks. Okay, that was 5, 6, 13, 18 blocks up. That's a lot. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's so cool. All right, um, I'm going to have to play with that off camera here. I do like the, the kind of attack that you get for... Um, the mace, though. That's really cool. It sucks that you can't put sharpness on it. I'm gonna have to go, like, play in a creative world and see what all enchants you can put on it. Okay, I am back at base now, and I noticed that we have three of these flow armor trims, and I think I want to duplicate these. So, let's see. Flow. What do you need for that? You need the breeze rods. Um, so, I would like to have five of these, ideally. So let's do one more. And I want to see... Like, let's see. I want Lapis. Let's try Lapis on one. Probably going to end up going with Redstone, though. Um, I guess I could look at Gold, too. But I'm curious on what these look like. Ooh, ew. I don't like the gold. That blue's not bad. Ooh, I like that red. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that red. I think I'm going to put that on all of our pieces. Yeah, that, that looks cool. I like the way that looks. We'll put the full set on here so we can see it. I still haven't upgraded this to netherite, by the way. I feel like I probably should, but I haven't. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, that does look cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so what I want to work on this episode is I want to work on kind of a centralized nether area, um, like a nether hub, I guess you'd call it, or like a nether lobby. And the idea is that I need a portal for our cave down here. And that's going to be kind of the central location that we base everything off of. So I was thinking of putting it outside. That could be nice because then we have an excuse to leave the base. But I also think it'd be cool to have it down here, kind of off in one of the corners. And then I can kind of decorate like having the nether taking over that aspect of the cave. Kind of how I made like all of the uh, grass and moss overtake this. I think it'd be really cool. It'd be a really nice shift in colors. So I'm thinking over here kind of in this corner area back here, I could do a nice portal. I'll probably do like a, probably like a nine by nine or 11 by 11 portal. So pretty big. I'll probably put it, 
I might put it like right here. Yeah, that would look really good. So you'd have like this would be the portal. And then I could decorate both sides of it. So then when you come out, you come out into the, uh, like out into here, into the cave. And then when you're going into it, it would give me like a reason to walk down the train tracks. That would be really cool. I like that idea. So I need to go get a bunch of obsidian. And because I don't think I have much left. Uh, let's go have a look here. Um, I have, and let's turn that off so we don't hear clicking. I have five obsidian, so I'm going to have to mine. Uh, actually, I may go barter with some piglins. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with a game plan here, and I'm not sure really what I want to do yet. So let me come up with a game plan, and I will bring you guys back. Okay, so um, it's actually the next day here, but I've been working on our nether portal. And I'm really liking the way this is turning out. So... It, it's really noticeable because it's kind of the only thing over there and it's kind of bright red. But I'm liking the way that it's looking so far. Um, basically, I, I made way too many of these vines. <laughs> I'm now realizing. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of some of those. But I'm using the Crimson, um, was it Nylium? Yeah, Crimson Nylium, and then the Bone, or not Bone Block, the uh, Netherwort Blocks. Um, and then I used a bunch of lava with some red glass, just to kind of give it that nether feel, kind of like the nether's encroaching out. Um, I also went ahead and replaced some of these trees with the Crimson Stems, so it looks, you know, gives it that feel the nether's kind of taking over, coming out of the portal here. Um yeah, I, got, I definitely got to get rid of some of these uh, vine things. I don't know. What are these even called? Um, I think you have to so touch it. Yeah. Uh, weeping vines. Yeah, we're uh, going to have to get rid of some of those. I didn't know I planted that many. Um, I did hide a little bit of lighting. Um, I hid a couple up here. And I used the shroom lights with some red carpet. The red carpet really doesn't go too well with these blocks. It, it kind of stands out, so I tried to very sparingly use it. And that's mainly why the lava pool is here, is for the light. Um, I'm probably going to have to move this one and do something else here for lighting, because like if I break this block, it does get really dark here. So I may have to hide some lighting over here um, where the uh, grass is going to be. So... If we come on through the nether portal, though, uh, oh yeah, I meant, uh, I, I was using this red, uh, what are these, uh, crimson fences as kind of bracing. I don't know if I like it, I kind of do, but I think I don't want to use a lot of it, because it'll kind of take away from the nether. I also tried using one of the lanterns up there. It doesn't really fit, though. Like, it does, but it doesn't, it does because you don't really see it, but I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of changes here, but if we go through, uh, the back wall here is, again, just nether warp blocks. To, that way you can't see through the portal. Now, the portal does spit us out in not a great location. Um, we're pretty, pretty low in the world here. But the good news is, because of where it's at, if we come up and then we go back here, this is where our original portal was. So here you can see our bridge down to the end portals over there. And then that's our original nether portal. And the bastion monument's over here. So it's really nice. You can also, this is where I was hunting netherite, was down here. So it's nice that it's all kind of in the same general location. We're just a little farther back and we're farther down into the nether. Um, I also do like how it's kind of a lava lake here. And if we go over, we're actually right next to our nether fortress. So this is the one of the fortresses I've been coming to to get wither skeleton skulls. So it's really nice that this is kind of more centrally located. I'm, I'm liking that a lot better. Um, I just wish it was a little higher up in the world. And I may be able to change that. 
um, just by moving the portal up. I don't think Y location really matters too much in the nether. But I think what I'm going to do to start off here with our nether hub um, is I want to get rid of all of this kind of... What is this? Basalt, I think it is. Yeah, the basalt here. Kind of take this down to, you know, normal lava, like a good Y, like even Y level. And then we can kind of start building. I figure we'll have like... All right, sorry about that. I had a sneeze. I figure that we'll kind of hollow this out back here. And then we'll have this all torn down. We'll have kind of a staircase going back here to our end portal. I'll probably have a staircase going over here to the nether fortress. And then I'm thinking over here, uh, or sorry, directly ahead, yeah, is probably where I'm going to end up putting a gold farm. Because this turns into nether wastelands up here. And this is one of the better spots for a gold farm. Um, which is something that I really, really want to do. Um, it's going to give us access to piglin bartering and a lot of gold which i actually need a lot of gold for power drills for one of the upcoming projects so yeah i'm gonna work on this some here um getting some of this torn down and i'm not gonna build another hub today that's gonna be kind of like an ongoing project and i want to get a theme going for it um before i really do anything but i want to tear all this out i think i'm gonna put a beacon here i think i'm actually gonna spend some time over there getting wither skeleton skulls and get us a beacon set up here so that we can kind of mine. I'll probably put... I'm probably going to put the beacon over here-ish. Probably like right in there because we're going to be doing a lot of mining back here. Um, or the majority of the mining back here. So I'm probably going to put it... I might put it like in this corner. Um, yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, by the way, bedrock is technically a... in uh, Like a transparent block as far as beacon beams are considered so all you have to do is you just have to mine like a hole up to the nether roof you don't actually have to go through the nether roof to have a beacon so yeah i'm gonna work on some of that here and then i do have another little project that i want to work on in the overworld so i will bring you guys back once i get a little bit more of a plan and get some things sorted out here I'd say this is like watching paint dry, but at least paint drying has a different like shade to it when it dries. This, this is just a sound every now and then. Anyway, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, got uh, some stuff done in the nether here. I was just making some more fire res potions because I'm using a lot of them currently. And apparently also taking a lot of fall damage because I don't know how to fly. So if we hop in the nether here, you'll see that I have dug out quite a bit. And that's not where that goes. That goes there. Yeah, so I've dug out quite a bit. Um, got our beacon down. And I actually made this portal bigger uh, by one block. So we have a three block middle. And that's going to be kind of our central location is going to be this portal block here. So I mined out all around um, out front here, just kind of knocking everything down. I tried uh, removing like the floating ones here, and it makes these weird lava things. I I don't like it. I'd rather have the lava just be solid. So this side I left. Eventually, all this is going to be hidden anyway. You're not going to be able to see any of this. Up top here, though, I did take the ceiling up, um, basically as far as I could reach vertically. And I think I'm going to actually go up top here. We fly around. I only have power three rockets left, so... Um, I want to take it to about this level here. If I can get up here, I can. I want to take it to kind of like this level. Because that's where most of the um, ceiling is over there. So I'm thinking probably this level. And then all the way back. Um, I want to go a little bit further on this side here. And probably a little further on this side. Um, and then that's going to be kind of our main entrance area. Um, the floor is probably going to come out to about here-ish. Probably around in here or here. I'm not sure yet. I still got to work out. I actually don't actually know what I'm going to build here. I have a general idea of what I want it to look like. But um, that's about it. As far as this tunnel, um, I dug this tunnel out. 
because this takes us over to our bastion and then it also takes us over to the end portal here so now we can leave and fly in and out and it's pretty easy to see basically i just look for um the staircase down here uh god i really hate these power three rockets that was the worst idea i ever had oh let's just make them power three yeah that oh that's a great idea mike <laughs> sorry most of the time i cut that out when i talk to myself like that but i think i'm gonna leave this one in so yeah um this is where I was mining for netherite at, is down here. So you kind of just look over, and then you'll be able to see this pathway. And I'm actually going to extend this pathway out, and I'm actually going to connect it up to that area. Um, and I can actually show you. I haven't done much netherite mining recently, but I can just show you what it looks like down here. So uh, basically, it's just a hole... It goes down into a bigger hole that I blew open with some TNT uh, down here at the bottom. Yeah, I kind of just TNT mined, and then I realized I was at the wrong Y level. So I went up here and started mining. But yeah, that's... I think it's going to look cool, and eventually I want to have like actual pathways, not just, you know, blocks. Like a 3x3 three three blocks that I'm placing. But... I found that um, I'm liking the size of this. So this is going to be the actual size of our tunnels. And then the outside blocks here are going to be the decoration. Um, I do like a, having a 5x5 five five just because it makes it easier to fly through. And we can also kind of, when we do the decorations on the tunnels, we can kind of bring them in by a block. Um, if I grab something here, I can show you. So like if we were going to decorate, we could actually, you know, come in here by a block and then we still have a three by three that we can go through so that's an easy way to add depth rather than just having the one block going back of depth or you know i guess multiple blocks going backwards for depth you could have it coming in too um but yeah i need to grab all of these shulker boxes and go empty them out Ooh, a little magma slime yeah these things keep spawning i gotta figure out how to spawn proof this by the way I'm not entirely sure how you stop magma cream spawning. I don't know if they're affected by light levels or if I need to put carpets down or what I need to exactly do there. But I will figure that out between episodes here. Um, unfortunately, I know this episode's kind of been all over the place, but it's been a pretty rough week um, for me. IRL, I've been working quite a bit and it's been so horribly hot so yeah i've done what i can hopefully you guys did enjoy i'm gonna work on our portal entrance a little bit between episodes how did you spawn how you literally came from where the lights are like literally there's lights here there's lights up top here where did you spawn uh, by the way, just in case you're wondering, none of the mods are still updated for 1.21. Some of them just hit 1.20.6. So hopefully next episode I will have all of the mods back and we can free cam and that bat looks really weird. But yeah, um, like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next episode. Have yourself a wonderful day.